when Achan had committed a great sin against God and the whole Israelite community was affected because of it, uh, Joshua approached him and said, Give glory to God, the Lord God of Israel, and make confession to Him. Okay, He said, You have to repent. You have to confess to God. How? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me now what you have done. Okay, it's it's very uh, unique play on words, and maybe, but it's very clear that the whole sacrament is is in the Old Testament. It was, the whole plan was <clears throat> by God. These are just some examples. There's there's a lot more here, um, because nowadays people are um, doubting the importance or the sacramental or the mystery behind. Uh, the sacrament of repentance and confession. And even the Lord Himself instituted, instituted this sacrament. When? When did the Lord say, take people's confessions to the, to the disciples? He gave them the tongue. He, ga he gave them... He gave them the Holy Spirit, right? And He said, he breathed on the faces and said, "Receive the Holy Spirit." This is if you, whatever. Well, he said it in two places, uh, Matthew 18, John 20. Um, it says in John 20, it says when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, "Receive the Holy Spirit." If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Does that sound familiar? Who says this? Abuna prays this in the absolution prayer. When Abuna is forgiving. Or when God is forgiving your sins through Abuna, He's using the words of Christ who entrusted Him with the authority to loose and to bind in, in the sacrament of the priesthood. So it's kind of like saying, you know, God is giving the key, and you're saying, this is the key that God gave me, so uh, He has the authority to open or to close, or to forgive or not to forgive. Not by His authority, but by the authority of God through Him. Okay, He's mainly a witness. Um, what else is the priest is through like through through this sacrament is that there is a lot of spiritual guidance and training that happens through this um, through this type of repentance. So you can receive practical advice. You can receive pra uh, spiritual discipline. So the spiritual law of the person, like the matanias or the reading of the Bible or the print, is related to the sins and vice versa. So sometimes the Buddha would say, okay, you committed the sin in order to complete your repentance, you know, do this many matanyas, or do this and not this. So uh, kind of like when you go to the doctor and he says, okay, I, I figure out what your issue is, the, this is the medication that you must take. And then he'll come back a little bit later, did the medication work? No, it was too strong, it was too weak, try something else. That's what happens. Uh, sometimes... The healing doesn't happen immediately. <laughs> or it's a little bit off, and so there has to be an adjustment. So that's why. Uh, or maybe you might need to go to another doctor. <laughs> Sometimes uh, Abuna will refer either to another priest or maybe a professional. Like, let's say the person has severe depression. Okay, he can only help you so much, but there's a physical problem, uh, uh, a psychological issue, you need a professional. Um, The spiritual guidance and training increases awareness uh, of, of the issue, and it's kind of a reality. Um, if there is any pride or misunderstanding or despair, two are better than one. So sometimes if you're left to your own thoughts and your own plans and your own devices without being corrected, you're going to go off track. Um, like let's say you're being too hard on yourself. So Abuna is there, and a lot of times that's the case. It might be too hard on the kid, so Abuna is trying to say, no, no, to trust in the grace and the mercy in God. Uh, and the opposite, let's say you're too easy on yourself. <laughs> Abuna say, no, no, <laughs> you have to, usually the people who are too easy don't, don't even come at all. <laughs> um, so most of the time, we're, we're, we're just kind of trying to uh, relieve the person from despair. Uh, as... Uh, there, uh, there's a quote that that will come up in in, in a minute. Um, okay. Oh yeah, here, here's one. It's more serious to lose hope uh, than to sin, and it's more serious. Uh, like, which is the sin that is not forgiven? 
blaspheming against the Holy Spirit? Yes. What does that mean? It's the sin that's not repented. <laughs> and so God will forgive every sin that we repent, but He can't forgive us for the things that we don't repent for. Um, so go to God, go to uh, Abuna, try to offer repentance. If it's not a complete or perfect repentance, keep trying. But if you don't go at all, and if you don't go to God at all, and if you don't try to deal with it, then th there is no hope. Um, okay. Uh, so, just a summary. What's the greatest... <laughs> what is it? The repentance we said is the greatest message, the greatest joy, joy the greatest work that we offer. Uh, what is it? Based on this, you said first sin is missing the mark, right? And uh, repentance is uh, the transformation of our mind or the renewing of our mind by turning around and, and, and adjusting ourselves, the real transformation and the real change. And then how can we do it effectively? The three aspects in Acts 26, uh, repent, meaning sitting and examining with yourself and trying to correct yourself or analyzing what, what the problem is, then turning to God, and then Certainly. doing the works of repentance, which is correcting our mistakes with others, and finally going to uh, confession. <clears throat> uh, yeah, here's the, the, the just, just a couple of last comments. Um, like St. John of the Ladder, in the seventh century, I believe he said, when our soul leaves this world, we shall not be blamed for not having worked miracles or for not having been theologians or having attained visions. So we're not going to be judged if I don't have a vision, if I'm not a theologian. Yeah, we understand God, but maybe we don't have a, a PhD. <laughs> but he says, um, and if we don't perform miracles, it's okay. But he says, we shall certainly have to give an account to God of why we have not unceasingly wept over our sins. Um, so we won't be judged for our sins, but we will be judged for not repenting. Um, as the verse says, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Uh, okay. Uh, the, another thing we just have to remember is not just focusing on the sin, but focusing on the goodness of God. As uh, St. Paul says, don't despise the richness of, uh, riches of his goodness. Uh, he says, knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance. So if we focus on God enough, we'll repent. Sometimes we say we have to focus on our sin, we have to focus on our sin. No, but if we focus on being Christ-like, then we realize we're not Christ-like. If we, if we realize that we want to be white, and then we look in the mirror and we see we're not white, then we'll repent. Uh, as one of the Desert Fathers says, I didn't find the exact reference, he said, the closer a man comes to God, the more he sees that he is a sinner. <clears throat> and this is, like we said, the sensitivity uh, to our weaknesses. The last point is that it's a lifelong process. Uh, as, again, one of the Desert Fathers says, I, have, I'm, I, have, I, I am not sure whether I have begun to repent. He said, repentance remains incomplete until the moment of death. Um, this, he was saying this like on his deathbed. <laughs> so it's okay if we don't feel like repenting, but as long as we're going through this process, we know it's not complete until the day the Lord takes us because that's one of the main reasons why we're still alive is because we haven't done it fully or, or to the best of our ability yet. Um, as St. Paul says, you have not yet resisted bloodshed striving against sin. Um, and the, yeah, this was the quote I was looking for. Repentance is the daughter of hope uh, and the denial of despair. So when we lose hope and when we're in despair, we're, this is the worldly sorrow. Uh, and God take that away from us. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, are there any questions? It's pretty straightforward. I know a lot of a lot of this is is kind of review, but most importantly, if we get anything out of today, we we try our best to take these next few weeks, the Great Lent, to really hone in on evaluating ourselves properly, sitting with ourselves, making time, at least maybe once a week um, or once a month, at the, the very, very, very least. But um, the more often we do it, <clears throat> the more joyful we'll be and the more we'll change. 
uh, kind of like you know the difference between when you uh, when like when you go to the dentist every month versus every six months versus every year. <laughs> when I was a kid, we were happy when the doctor said, "Okay, see you next year," but. Usually that follow-up was one of the worst because we think everything is okay, so we don't work as hard. But if they say, come in three months, or like, okay, I have to brush my teeth <laughs> right before I go, even, even if it's just a couple days before, because back then they used to have, you know, those little red tablets. <laughs> it's the same, same thing as, you know, when we continually go with Abuna, <laughs> everything is kind of like revealed. Even though um, he doesn't see it, but like, just that feeling encourages us to to work a little bit harder. So during this time, we're kind of like preparing ourselves uh, to, to see the dentist. And then after we leave, we'll be bright. <laughs> we'll be transformed. Uh, but we have to do our part. May the Lord give us the grace of the transformation, the grace of the change of mind, the ability to examine ourselves properly, to turn to Him in, in love, and asking for forgiveness and to truly make the change in our lives so that it may also encourage others uh, to do the same. And uh, it may be said of us, we were lost and we were found, we were dead and we are alive and we rejoice, uh, we allow our Heavenly Father as well as those around us to rejoice um, uh, because we are living more of the life of Christ. Uh, rather than that of ourselves. Glory be to God and to each one.